we actually thought we'd have a chance. Three runabouts against a berserker, even one that was injured. Just goes to show how much we have to grow, how much we have to learn. The berserkers fight like nothing I've seen. Complete fury. But it isn't unfocused. It's rage, for sure. But they control it. They know how to use it. Defeating them, for the Sheik, wouldn't be easy. Earning their protection wouldn't be possible. But we did have one Berserker prisoner. Even so, not enough to see us some of the themes. We'd have to move on again. Try somewhere else, somewhere new, somewhere further from the Holy Nation. We'd lick our wounds and would find a way to continue. Because death is the only other option. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rykon here, and welcome back to Kenchi, where we are back with our intrepid band of, well, I'd say adventurers, not quite adventurers, but you know, we do our best. We have a prisoner with us and we survived a fight against some berserkers in the previous episode i'd very much like to take this fragment axe with us however i don't think we're going to be able to do that hobbs can't pick that up while he is uh unconscious which is a little unfortunate um although in saying that oh we can perfectly fine fit that into our backpack so no issues there uh i think i will want to keep that there and that there for just that purpose and we're going to go and pick this thing up we're going to be trying to make our way back towards the town so that we can properly rest up because um well we're only just hanging in there at the moment sand is doing okay park is all right it could be a lot better and hobbs is in a recovery coma dog meat is still on the recovery as well so making our way back is the best course of action for us at this stage and you know what we're going to stay at the same pace, just so that we're all together. And would you look at that? It looks like a dust storm is rolling in. Hmm. We did have a dust storm in the last episode. Right now, we actually seem to be okay, even though it seems like there is a dust storm. It's still saying normal down here. It will tell us if there is a dust storm affecting us. Right now, it seems to be all right. That's the door that we want to go for, so we'll roam around here. We have seen skin spiders here in the past, though, so we'll try and be a little cautious. We don't want to run and see any, because, um, well, we're already not doing too well. And at the very least, the berserkers will not eat us, whereas the skin spiders will. So there we go. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll stop us with that berserker on our shoulder. But essentially what we want to try and do is go to one of the police stations and see if we can hand them in. Because they're essentially outlaws. Looks like they have no problem with us coming through. Which is good. We will run with it. Uh, so, let's see. You are a police station? Yes. Police. Well, police. In a, in a sense. Uh, so, let's go around this way then. Let's see if we can go through your front doors. I guess not everyone has to go through here. Uh, might be beneficial for us to... Yeah, it's going to cost money. But getting Hobbs back up and, run, up and running is going to be worthwhile. So let's go ahead. Um, we we can apparently see how much they're going to cost. That's going to cost us 100 to be able to... Uh, yeah. Get him to stay. So if we go to sand and we go put in bed. He'll go and put Hobbs in the bed. And Dogmeat is going to stick with him, I believe. Oh no. Dogmeat's on his... All right, there we go. He's taken off. So Park, how about you go ahead and turn him in? Sand isn't going to rest in a bed. We need those camps. Okay, we paid for bed rental. Let's go chat to this bloke here and see what he has to say. Hmm. All right. Uh, do you have any confiscated goods to sell? Nothing. I'm a bounty hunter looking for work. I guess we can try that. I'm a bounty hunter, looking for work. Hmm. Then hunt for it, hunter. Check the wanted posters. Search the outlands for criminals in hiding. 
Then bring them to me for your reward. Okay. Thanks for the info. <laughs> yes, thanks for the info. Uh, okay, maybe we can't sell him here. So, generally, it's slave traders that you're going to be able to sell actual people to. I was hoping we'd be able to sell a berserker here. It doesn't seem to be the case. Let's ask if there are any confiscated goods to sell, though. Uh, we can sell some of our own goods here. Uh, the sell value of that fragment axe is a lot higher, though, so we'll hold on to that for the time being. Uh, we do have these tools to sell as well. Uh, so that's going to be at the tavern. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, that, that's that's it. That's, that's it. Um, I wonder if we can put him up in any of the cells, though. Actually, do they have... Oh, they do have cells. Um, you know what? That's what we're going to do, because um, we're trying to help them out, so... We'll do that. Put him in the prisoner cage. And I don't know what they're going to do with him. But um, there we go. We've got him placed inside. Uh, so I believe... Oh, he is actually still unconscious. He's in a recovery coma. Okay, so he's probably going to be in there for a little while. I don't know whether or not he'll try and make a escape attempt. But I guess we'll see in time, won't we? So Park, how about you come back over this way? And we'll see if we can sell the rest of our things. Sand should have a few for us as well. Let's go down to the next level. Sand, how about you start things off, buddy? Have a chat with him if you can. You cannot have a chat with him. Interesting. Okay, uh, what about Park? No? Hmm, okay. Are you not the tavern owner? Static guard. Okay, so ah, maybe it's you. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, fantastic. So, what are we going to sell? Um, no armor coverage. Yep, yeah, we'll go ahead and sell you. Uh, are we going to sell you? Yes. Cut resistance is one and six. No, we'll keep the turban. Um. The fencing chance for this is good. That's fine. Stolen from the Berserker. We're going to get a fair few cats for that. Gets us back up to 8,000, which is nice. I'm happy about that. And you know what? We're going to buy some food. Um, Sand is actually doing okay food-wise, though. Can I sell from here? I can. <laughs> Why haven't I done this in the past? Okay, well, that's a lot easier, isn't it? And look at that. 9,000. We are so close, people. We are so close. Oh. Okay. All right, well, how about all of us go and head over, all of us bar hobs, go on over to the explorer's place, and we'll see if we're able to pick up any backpacks for dog meat. We might be able to get there just before things close. We'll be lucky if we do, otherwise we might have to spend some money, spend the night here. Okay, welcome friend. Yes. Let's go have a chat to you. Before you kick us out. Alright, do we have any animal backpacks that we can run with here? Now, I don't know if he needs a specific backpack. I'd hate to buy one and then not be able to use it. I mean, okay, we don't specifically need it. Uh, what's interesting here, though, are the maps. Now, I would be tempted for us to buy one of these. They're, these are all treasure hunter maps. Um, I'd be after towns, swamped lab. Okay, so we can get an idea of where they are. So this is, this is a map of the swamp, map of Vane. The United Cities. It would be good to know where some of the United Cities are. Uh, they are pretty far away from us. And then we have Mongrel. Um, hmm... A promise of isolated safety and a future without slavery in Mongrel. Okay. For those desperate enough to face a fate worse than death. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Um, they would be tempted by that. I think they would be tempted by that. God, it'd be horrible, though. Uh yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, many of you have recommended us getting um, someone using a crossbow for a while. I definitely want to. I definitely want to make it happen. We're going to keep our eyes peeled. Uh, we just need to get somewhere where we can actually buy those. Um, unfortunately, I was hoping for some more of the Shik uh, territories to be mapped here for us. 
unfortunately not the case though. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. We could get this, it's still 500 cats. You know, we're not gonna, I know I've gone back and forth multiple times here. We're gonna save our cats for now. Um, I, I will be honest though, I am tempted for us just to have a good proper rest and there is going to be 200 cats for us to be able to do that but in the long run I think it's going to be worth it. So let's go get everyone over. Unfortunately poor dog meat isn't going to have a chance to have a proper rest but all the others will and that's a good thing in my books. Yes it does cost us a bit to be able to do this but getting them back to 100% is going to be worthwhile. Got a dust storm rolling in again. That's another thing that we need to be careful of, is sleeping during those dust storms can be quite bad. Uh, I don't think dog meat can, yeah, sleep. We'll just take the, we'll take the hit as the sun starts to go down. We'll have a little bit of a sleep. Dog meat doesn't seem to be super happy about that, but he's got food to eat. And so with them resting, I will see you all in a moment. All right, the morning is with us. Park, it's time for you to get up, buddy. He is close to being fully healed. He's not quite there, but he was close. Now, late last night, there was some combat that was happening out here on the roads, but I can't see it at the moment. So I think whoever, whatever was out here has already passed on by. <sighs> well, we're gonna be hitting the road. We're going to be heading in the direction of the Great Fortress. That's our next stop on our Great Odyssey. And it's going to be a little bit of a trip to get there. We can handle the city. We'll be back though. <laughs> Before long. Yes. And we need to keep our eyes peeled out on these hills. Because if we run into those berserkers again, uh, we're probably going to have a repeat of that loss. No, we're good so far. We're good so far. Who do we have up ahead of us though? This is a good question. It looks like Hivers. Caravan drone. Okay, all right. Are you selling anything interesting? Um, not that I think we would buy, but I mean, you know what? It's worth checking. To say the least, we've got some foods. Uh, the value is pretty much standard. Um, we also have some limbs. Uh, if we do lose limbs, the hivers are the best to go to. You're going to get some really, really cheap stuff. Um, I mean, they're not the best, but, you know, it's it's one of the best considering it's so damn cheap. Uh, no, we're not going to take anything else from them, though. I think the food and everything else like that. We're trying to save money. <laughs> trying to. And failing. Uh, because there are a lot of different ways to make money in Kenji. And... I would like to, I'd like to do a little bit of work of these three, but I don't think they're quite ready to try and settle somewhere yet. So we're going to continue on scavenging where we can, roaming through these very dangerous hills, and seeing what's out there. Now I don't know who might be residing within the great fortress, but we can see up here, ah, if this is it then it is something of a ruin, but there are still some people wandering around inside. We might be looking at berserkers potentially, or it could be an actual settlement of Sheik. We'll find out soon enough. We'll keep our eyes peeled for other settlements that might be around here. Okay, we'll slow things down as we move on up. It looks like I'm somehow stuck here. No, there we go. That's better. Um, let's see. Uh, 100 Guardian. Okay. I see. Well, I hope that you welcome us. You're not going to try and uh, hurt us on sight. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that gave me quite a fright. Um, okay, so we don't have anything to hide here, so we are just going to show our gear. Acceptable, go. Okay. We're on our way. Lucky. There are a number of goods that are kind of deemed to be um, illegal in this. What are we looking at? This is the Faction HQ. Okay. So let's um, let's have a look inside. 
see what we might uh, have awaiting us. Okay, now I'm also assuming that it's going to be a very similar situation where we cannot use any of the equipment here. Doesn't look like we can talk to anyone either. Uh, they do have supplies here, but um, we're not going to be stealing from the Sheik. They've been just as hard done by. Do not touch the equipment. Fine. Fine. We will not. We'll get ourselves out of here. Dog meat, stick with me. Uh, it's kind of highly doubtful that we're going to find anything of worth in this town, but we can, we can still have a look at the very least. It's all ruined, and it looks like they've been cleaned out. Well, it's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Who do we have down here? It looks like skeletons, maybe. Kral's chosen. Um, so, what are our options? We could continue further south, or we could start trying to move, maybe, even potentially out more to the west. So let's see, if we were to do that, maybe if we start heading out in this direction, to see if we are able to find anything along our way. Really, a lot of the traveling is going to have to be guesswork. Trying to find the best path and see if they can make it. Dogmeat, I don't want to get too far away from us. Yeah, he he's really quite slow, unfortunately. Um, so let's stick together then as a team. Make sure that happens. At least this is going to give him a chance to, to catch up a wee bit. Or rather, we won't pull any further ahead of him. Who do we have? Looks like we've got a skin spider, maybe. No, no, it is a pack beast. Okay. It's just out here by itself, which is a little concerning. Just out here all alone. Um, oh. Oh, it's, there's a berserker here. In a recovery coma. Well... Let's see about that then. Okay, we are going to grab some of these things. Fantastic. That's an armored skirt. Uh, we're probably not going to be wearing these. The athletics effects, we can see it drops down. Oh, actually, it does give you a bonus to martial arts, though. So let's go ahead and give that to Hobbs. Uh, see if he's going to be able to make use of that at all. So yeah, we can see that that does actually boost up his martial arts. Okay, I'll roll with that. Uh, the rest of the armor that we have on him is not exactly helping him out all that much. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and give this to Sand. Sneaky chain half pants. And we'll go steal the bandana. We'll take some more of that. And we'll hold on to you there. Um, so I want to try and get Sand's strength up a little bit higher. So we're going to go ahead and pick the sucker up. And he's going to be coming along for the ride. Uh, I don't, you belong to the Traders Guild, so I don't want to hurt you at all. Um, it does mean that uh, there were probably other members of the Traders Guild that came through here that have not survived that. For whatever reason. Let's try to get to a higher elevation just so we can see what's going on. Let dog meat catch up as well. Still, uh, haven't discovered any new, new locations just while we're wandering. Occasionally I'm just hitting alt to see if there's anything that might be laying around on the ground. Uh, so we're a little bit higher than I want to be. I want to be trying to come out down to this region here. But it looks like we have to kind of work our way through all these craggy rock structures. We don't know, I don't know what we're going to find. But we'll start searching all the same. Because I, I legitimately don't know my way around. Um, a lot of exploration has to be done this way. Um, who do we have here? We have a wandering trader. Okay. Um, we could have a chat to you. No, we can't. You don't have anything to trade. I wonder if that was the uh, pack beast back there that belonged to you. Nothing. Nothing around here. Looks like it opens up a fair way towards the um, ocean over in that direction. And going to be getting into potentially dangerous territory. 
So we can see the uh, terrain and the vegetation starting to shift. This is a very different biome, a very different kind of area. We'll see what we can find down here. It seems pretty desolate. I'm not finding many settlements this far out. I think it would be a surprise to come across anything. Uh, in saying that, we do have something down here. It looks like a ruin as well. This is considered to be vain. It's kind of where the, the river starts to drain out. Um, is that us speaking? Vain. The harvest seemed harmless enough, but don't let that fool you. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, we are suffering from an entire pack of bone dogs. See, this is how easily this can happen. <sighs> okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to get distance here or not. Uh, we're going to go for a full sprint um, to see if we can get some distance from them. But I'm not... I'm not expecting the best it looks like we can outrun them poor dog meat can't though so we just have to hope that we're going to be able to get far enough away from this large pack and that they're going to leave dog meat alone but i don't like our chances there some of them are stopping they're going after dog meat dog meat i'm sorry i'm sorry dog meat oh no okay okay Come back over here, start sneaking. Looks like just two of them are carrying on. Dog meat's dying. We need to get to dog meat. God damn it. Okay, alright. Sand, you have a first aid kit. Start running. Park, you and Hobbs get up that hill. Damn it. They're still roaming around here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to them in time. Cause they're gonna see sand. Even if he stealths. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Dog meat hanging there. Okay, let's see. Chest. It doesn't say when, but he's so small that there probably isn't much to it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We're just going to run for him. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Save him, save him, save him. We're still carrying this. I can't believe how fast Sand is. We were still faster than everyone else and we're carrying this goddamn berserker over our shoulder. I completely forgot about that. We saved him. We've saved him. Oh, that is a... Yeah, we want to get the hell out of here. That thing is a big thing. That will straight up eat you. Guaranteed it will eat you. That's probably the first time that Sand's seen anything like that. And it seems like all of a sudden, a lot of the nightmares and the stories and the tales that he heard in Rebirth are coming true. And they seem to be very fast on their feet. Okay, so let's heal ourselves and let's get the hell out of here. Can I pick you up? We can't pick both of you up, can we? Uh, okay. Am I going to be able to get you down here in time? Probably not. You're going to be unconscious for a little bit longer. I, he should be okay. I know, famous last words. Come on, dog meat. Because if anything, that should be eating the others. Oh no, what is it doing? Why would it start running down here? For no reason. Just keep on running, just keep on running. Okay, all of you down this way. Oh my god, it's coming this way. No, it can't be. H has it seen sand? No way. Uh, it's, it's... I... Uh... Run. Run. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Actually, it seems to be ignoring us. It's not. It's it's still hanging around. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, we just dodged a massive running bullet. Oh, what are you doing, you crazy ass thing? Just leave us be. Okay. I think we're safe. 
famous last words. Keep going, keep going. Okay, dog meat. Are you going to be able to get back up? He is. He's going to be up in just a moment or two. Um, he's going to be alright. He's going to be alright. We're going to need to wait here for a moment. Wait for Dogmeat to join us. And then we're going to have to try and find somewhere else to go. Because this has been a whole heap of nope. Hobbs, I don't know what your plan is, buddy. But bringing us this way probably wasn't the best choice. So we're going to rethink our decisions in life. And we're going to plot a new course. So, south has not worked out for us. Not in the slightest. Getting further away from the Holy Nation has been good, but it's put us into some pretty dangerous territory. And so, with that, we're going to be heading north once again. And we've discovered an unknown object while we've been roaming about. It might be worth investigating. At the same time, it makes me very, very nervous. If we can get some good supplies from it, it could help us out. However, we need to be very aware of our surroundings. What is this unknown object going to be? The sun is nearly on its way down. And here we go. Here it is. And there isn't much to it. It is just a big old rune that's toppled on its side. Um, I don't think we're going to find anything in there. We can't get in there either. Uh, an interesting structure, but not really what we're after. Let's see if we can get out of... Um, these rocky crags so that we can see a little clearer the area around us yeah not south no siri so we continue on back in vain or at least part of vain that's why we have the rain <laughs> looks the way it does fallen tower yeah Apparently it belongs to someone else, that's why it's appearing red to us. So we're kind of on the edge of the biome at the moment, it looks like. That's why we'll be going in and out of that rain. It's very dark out here. And in the distance there we are seeing... Admag. That's got to be Admag, right? It's big enough that it must be. Yeah, it is. Well, 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 well. What are we going to do about that? Continue on north. It's the only thing we can do. I think now that all be wanting to uh, have those maps. I'm saying that though, we have discovered a high village. It is down there by the actual river. So we'll go visit them. And the hive, well, I think, uh, let's stick together, team. I think sand is a little bit more open to taking advantage of them. If you catch my drift. The Sheik have been protectors to them so far. We're trying to earn more protection. And yeah, we won't be able to do that if we we're uh, stealing from them. So we'll make our way down this dangerous and very alien kind of landscape and here we go this is our first hive village so the hive villages can be good to get protection you can also find a number of other things here this is a robotics shop uh, a lot of uh, value in those we have the actual trader just to the side there and that's pretty much it so let's head into the trader and just see what might actually be inside. Okay, and yes, they are very, very forward and want to sell you all the things and will run up towards us and start screaming in your face until you buy things from them. So, yeah, let's see what they've got. Um, so these chess pieces here, they're all for hives, or rather like hivers. Um, the pets are pretty decent. Um, I've used them quite a bit in the past with a previous character that I have. Um, it's good protection and it doesn't uh, affect your combat skills. It does affect your dodge, um, so that's something to consider. But if you have a high enough combat skill, it's not going to affect you. At this stage, I think that light armor is still probably going to be the best thing for us. What I'm hoping to find here, or what I was rather hoping to find, is uh, crossbows. I don't know if that's going to happen. 
However, we can sell these, and yeah, looks like we can sell them for pretty good values. Half pants, we'll go ahead and sell those off as well. Um, unfortunately, we're getting quite low on food, something that I didn't consider. Uh, we'll go sell these tools. We've still got a wanted one there. Okay, so, uh, can we buy food from you? Mm, Yes-ish? Oh no, this is hashish. This is a drug. Uh, oh, well, it's not exactly, well, in, the, in this it is, so yeah. And that's what we can get caught for when we're going into towns. Um, so a lot of different goods, but uh, nothing that we can really sell here, rather buy. The thin fish is going to give us a very small amount of nutrition uh, for not a lot. Same kind of deal here as well, which is rather unfortunate. And, uh, yeah, stealing from them will not be easy. Um, we're going to go ahead and get everyone outside. And I think Sand is going to have a little bit of a walk around, check out some of these other places. And Sand is still holding onto this goddamn berserker, um, who... Are you, you... You're just awake now. Um, so if I put him down, we're probably going to start a fight here. Um... Oh no, he's unconscious, so there is a chance that he might get up here. We'll give him a second, and we'll see what's what. Four, three, two, one. And, yep, here we go. Okay, so Sand, I would like you to attack the Berserker if you could. And the Hivers shouldn't care about this. So far, the fight is working out in our favor. Hobbs is getting some good martial arts hits in. Sand getting some hits in as well. You see, there's so many of them running around. They have a lot of population. Just this, just this one berserker is still hanging on. Oh, we're being, we're being helped. Protect the queen. You're actually pretty well armored there. Well, I was kind of hoping they weren't going to help us out, but uh, I guess they are. And I can't imagine they're going to be up for much longer. And unconscious, just like that. And they've captured them. So, we're going to leave them out here. And Sand is going to have a little bit of a walk around, see what he can find. Start off with the robotics um, trader. See what's what. Just a whole heap of limbs. Yep. Whole, whole heap of them. Let's go into some of the other homes and see what we can find in there. Uh, actually, do they have anything in the other way of, the, of other homes? I, I thought they did. Oh no, they do. They do. They just look like rocks from a distance, but they are actually homes. Let's run inside and see what we got. Uh, so there isn't anything here that we can take, but look at they're just uh, all hanging out here. So I think even trying to take something would be rather difficult. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Weird crate. Okay, can I open the weird crate? I can. Alright, uh, not that I think that's probably a good idea for us to do. Let's go ahead and check the other place. And I think it's just these four. Yeah. So, we might stand a better chance of trying to take something from here. Oh, there is another, just over that side. And it looks like this is the main kind of sleeping quarters. A lot of different goods here, but, um, yeah, taking them won't be easy. Because we'd have to remain completely unseen. We're actually unseen at the moment. We might be able to get away with this. Take some cooked vegetables. Yep, we totally can. Uh, take the cactus rum. As long as we're not being seen, that's okay. So, the way I kind of see this is that obviously Sand is in here. That's kind of visible. But what he's not being seen doing is taking the things. Uh, what else is going to help us out? Dried fish could obviously help us out. Um, the hacksaw over there we could probably try and sell. So, let's just start moving over. And objects that are outside of things are always going to be easier for us to steal. As soon as something is in a box or something like that, it's going to be a lot harder. So, we can take fabric without too much trouble. Uh, it's not worth a huge amount, but it, it's something. We can actually move through here quite easily. 
Um, oh, you know what? I wonder, what are our chances? Stealing chance, 16%. Yeah, because we'll be stealing off someone who is actually just sitting there. Okay. Take the fabrics. Wrench. Okay. So far, so good. And we're not getting, like, a massive amount from this, but it's an okay amount, you know? And this is us with, with gear on that's actually impacting our stealth. So it's not doing too bad. Dried fish, fantastic. Okay, so let's put those in our inventory for us to kind of share. And we're going to go ahead and move over to this place here. And this is uh, given Sand a chance to improve his sneak skill at the same time. So his stealth is up to 65. He's quite a stealthy dude. So we've been in here, let's go into this building. It's probably going to be another kind of sleeping quarters. Which means, chance to find things. And sure enough, yes there is. Many a thing to find. So we'll go stand over in the corner. We'll start sneaking. And let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the fires here. Straw flower, not going to take. Sake? I wouldn't mind taking the dust switch. Okay, grog. Oh. Oh, oh shoot. We were not seen then. We were not seen. Um, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, so everyone needs to start running as fast as we possibly can the hell away from here. Back to Admag, ideally. Uh, so it's going to be the same thing for Sand, who is going to be running as fast as he possibly can, uh, which isn't going to be too fast because he's still going to be a little way down, I think. Um, yeah, so let's stop sneaking, buddy. The gig's up. Run. Run, run, everybody run. Everybody get out of here. Because they're going to be chasing us for a while. Um, you could be trouble. That is definitely going to be trouble. Um, although it might be more trouble for the hivers and not so much for us. Uh, that there, let's have a good look at it. This has been a beastry of episodes. This is a gorillo. And it is going to, yep, start causing trouble for those hivers. So that's actually helped us out a fair amount. Um, you can see the, the health that this thing's got. It's pretty well built. And it can take a bit of a beating. So they're going to be whacking away at us. And we're going to be getting the hell out of Dodge. Uh, running away with what we've been able to find so far. Which, you know, it could have been a better haul. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Uh, we are still being followed. Um, so we could probably take... Oh, no, we cannot take this guy. His attack is crazy high. Um, noted. That is really impressive. Uh, so, yeah, Park's going to be going a little bit slower. Dogmeat is still in recovery coma. And Hobbs is... Hobbs is trying to keep up. We're in the Sten Desert now. And we are still being followed by this guy. Um, he is absolutely... Tenacious. I admire your dedication, my dude. I really do. How far are you going to follow me? <laughs> I don't suppose I could just drop my backpack. I don't think that would stop him. So I think our only option is to continue running right up to the gates. And hope that because we're being attacked, someone may come to assist us. See us as not being the aggressor. Oh, and he has given up. He's running on elsewhere. Where are you going now, huh? Home territory aggression. Yeah, that's right. You get out of here. We won't come back. Don't worry. <laughs> You're safe for now. Um, we might as well continue running up to Admag to sell the things off that we got. It's not a lot. It's really not worth much, but it's better than nothing. Dog meat, my dude. He's going to be like that for a while. Poor bugger. Alright, Sand. Um, what's your bounty there, my dude? Okay. Holy Nation. That's fine. Just making sure. Oh, that was Hobbs. Sand was already up here a long time ago. Into the bar, my friend. Into the bar. And chatting away. Alright. Um, we have got a few things to sell. Um... Average price is sell value. Okay, that's actually not bad. Could be worse. Um, great sell value. And we have enough. We have enough. Well, this is actually a change of... Um, a change of... Uh, of... 
I didn't ex I didn't expect this. I didn't expect us to, to reach this amount. Uh, we're going to buy a little bit more food because we can afford to now. So we'll do it. We still want to keep 10,000 in our inventory because we're going to try and run back to the hub so that we can join the Shinobi Thieves. At least that's the plan. I don't know how long that, how well that run would work out for us. It is a fair run to be able to get back there. That stack, the hub. Yeah, it's a bit of a run. But I reckon we can make it. We can make it together. I believe in you, team. And so with that, as our run to the hub continues, that is where we're going to be ending today's episode. Thank you for joining me on an episode that's been up and down and up and down, just like our team. Uh, that will be that way forever. Eventually, we will start to learn, we'll start to grow stronger. And perhaps with the Shinobi Thieves, it'll give us exactly that chance. And so, guys and gals, please do join me in the next. I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.